So here we are within DaVinci Resolve and we're currently on the Edit tab. I've already got a clip set up on my timeline and as you can see, it's already completely filling my frame like so. But let's say we want to move it around. There's actually two ways to do it. You can either do it visually on the preview window or you can do it within the inspector. I'm going to show you both. We'll start with the visual method first. So underneath your preview window, you should see this little icon and this little drop down here. Give the little drop down a click and you can see you've got a few options. Now transform has this icon next to it. It's the square with the four little points. Just give that a click. Now, whenever you see that square down here, you can just activate these transform controls by giving that button a click to activate or deactivate. If you see any of the other icons, so let's say you've got the pen icon here for annotation, you just need to use the drop down to then switch to the transform tools. With these transform tools activated, you can see all these points appearing on your preview window. So if we want to resize it, all we need to do is click on either of the four corners and we can just drag in and drag out without affecting our aspect ratio. Now, if we want to stretch our video, we use these little dots on either the sides, top or bottom, and then we can stretch our video like so. To actually move your video around, just click anywhere within the frame and you can just drag it around with your mouse like so. To rotate, you can see you've got these two little points in the middle. We just click on this top one, hold our mouse, and then we can just drag to the left, to the right, to rotate our image. Now, another quick tip for you here, you can see that this circle has appeared. If I drag my mouse down, I can make the circle smaller. And if there's a smaller circle, I can rotate faster, like so. If I drag my mouse up to make the circle bigger, I can rotate slower, which gives me finer control over the rotation. Now, lastly, you can see that we're rotating around the middle here. We're actually rotating around this icon here. If you give that a click and move that, you can move that to wherever you want it. So let me just put it on this guy's face. And then if I rotate, you can see we're now rotating around that point instead. That's called your anchor point. Now that's the visual method using the preview window. There's another method using the inspector. So still with your clip selected on the timeline, open up the inspector in the top right hand corner and you should see the word transform. Now I've got no options open here because my transform's closed. So all I need to do is double click on the word transform to show these options. Now these generally correlate to what we've just been doing. So we've got zoom, position, rotation, anchor point, pitch, yaw, and then flip. So to control them via the inspector, all you do, hover your mouse over the actual numbers and you can see your cursor will change. Click your mouse and then you can just drag. So I can drag left to zoom out, right to zoom in. I'm not stretching it, it's maintaining the aspect ratio, which is the default setting. If I want to stretch it, I can just untick this little chain icon, and then I control my X and Y zooms independently. Position is exactly the same. So I can just click and drag to move the X and Ys accordingly. Rotation angle, I can either use the little slider in the middle, or again, I can hold my mouse, click and drag on the number. The anchor point is the same, so I can move that left and right. And then you've also got pitch, which changes the pitch. You've got your, and then you've got flip horizontally, and then you've got vertically. Now, if you want to reset anything you've changed, there's two ways to do it. You can either double click on the actual word. So I've got the word zoom here. I'm just gonna double click my mouse and it'll reset to my zoom to the default parameters. Or we can use this little sort of refresh icon over the right hand side. So I'm gonna do my position now. I'm gonna give that a click and it'll reset the position. If I want to reset everything within the transform area, if I just move my mouse up a little bit, we've got the same refresh icon, but this time it's next to the word transform. We can give that a click and that'll reset everything to the default parameters. So as a quick practical demonstration, I'm just gonna grab my logo from my media pool, drag it onto my timeline above my video like so, and then release my mouse. I can give that logo a click. I still have my transform tools enabled, so then I can just click on this bottom left-hand corner, drag in, and then I can just click and drag it over, put my logo in the bottom right hand corner as I want it. Alternatively, I could have used the parameters within the inspector. Now, another example is for picture in picture. So I'm just gonna grab another video from my media pool, drag that onto my timeline above this one. And again, we can just give it a click on our timeline. We've got our tools active, or we can use the transform tools within the inspector. We can just zoom that out, make it a little bit smaller, drag it to wherever I want it. And then if we hit play, 
we've got the two videos running at once, which is exactly what we want. I've made all these transform changes up here, but let's say I want to see what it was like before and do maybe a quick before and after comparison. All I need to do next to the word transform here within the inspector, there's a little toggle switch. If I just turn that off, I can see what my clip would look like without any of the transform options applied. And then I can just turn it on again to enable those. So we can just flick it on and off to do a quick before and after comparison. Now, last quick tip, it's really easy to copy and paste any of those transform attributes from one clip to another. All we're gonna do is right click on the clip we want to copy from on our timeline. And then we're gonna to go to copy, or we can use the keyboard shortcut of Control and C. And then we're gonna click on the clip that we want to paste those attributes to. We'll right click again, and this time we're gonna to go to paste attributes, or we could have used the keyboard shortcut of Alt and V. This paste attributes window will appear, and then we can just click the attributes we want to copy. So I'm just gonna have zoom ticked. I'm not gonna bother with the scale or the rotation or anything like that, just zoom. And then I can click on apply, and as you can see, it's copied those zoom attributes from our first clip onto our second clip. And it's as easy as that to transform and copy and paste transform attributes within the edit tab. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. There's loads more DaVinci Resolve tutorials on my channel, so make sure to check those out. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up. Any thoughts or feedback, pop them down below. And if you're new here and you did enjoy the video, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, folks. Take it easy. See you next time. So yeah.